Hi, I'm Lisa Marie and welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Today, the Lisas of YouTube are presenting high-end dupes for you to enjoy. I'll tell you more about that later in the video, but for now, let's get crafting. If I mention that I bought something at Amazon and it's something that you need too, you will find the link to my Amazon store down in my description box. I'm going to be making four dupes from Antique Farmhouse. The first one is this Barkeeper Round Tray. This is a set of two. I'm only going to make one and it was $92 for two. So that's still $46 for one. I'm going to use these paint stir sticks that I ordered on Amazon and they don't have the curvy part so I really like them. And then I use two of the Hot Wheel tracks from the Dollar Tree, Waverly Paint Ink and Steel, and then the Folk Art Paint Metallic Silver. And what I'm going to do is start off with my Kills White Primer and I'm going to do almost three coats on both sides of these tracks. Now I cut one of them in half, then I added the steel color over the top after I had done several coats. And that is just to cover that white, but you only need to do one coat of that because then I'm going to take the ink color and with a stiff brush, I'm just going to dab it all over and I'm going to do that faux galvanized metal technique. Next comes white. I'm just going to dab that all over, both sides by the way, and then the metallic silver. And I'm going to dab that just to dull down the white and the black a little bit. And that's what kind of gives it that galvanized look. Now I'm going to take these two pieces of the track and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to attach them to each other. There's holes at both ends except for the one I cut. So I'm going to use my Cropodile, which is also from Amazon, and I'm going to make a hole on that other end so I have something to attach it with. Then I'm going to line them up and see how that's going to look. And I'm going to mark it and I'm going to take a blade and cut off the raised piece because I want it to lay flat on top of the other one when I overlap them. And by getting rid of that little raised piece of the track, I can accomplish that. And then I can use E6000 and hot glue combination and get those pieces to stick together. Then I'm going to take a clamp and hold them together because otherwise it just pops off until it dries. And then I'm temporarily going to put a clamp on the other side until I'm ready to glue it. And I'm going to draw a circle on my paper that's just on my desk because I need to create that wood base. So I'm going to use those paint stir sticks and I'm going to start cutting them with my miter shears from Amazon. And I'm using that circle that I drew on the paper as a way to determine how many pieces and how big I need them to be. And as I measure, I'm just drawing the lines where the circle will be. Now I'm going to glue them all together with a combination of hot glue and this liquid adhesive from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna wipe off the excess, and this is gonna create my entire piece. Now I'm gonna double check again the measurement. I'm gonna put that ring over the top. I'm gonna reinforce with some more glue. And then I'm going to use my blade and I'm going to start cutting off the excess around that circle. You just score it till it all comes off piece by piece. Next, I'm going to sand my wood. I want to get rid of the pencil marks and anything else. Then I'm going to take the Antique Wax by Waverly and I'm going to paint that on there and then wipe off the excess, basically to stain the wood. And I'm going to do that on both sides and around the edges. And now I'm going to take that ring that I created and I'm going to do a combination of hot glue and E6000 to attach it all the way around. Next I'm going to take my steel paint and where the wood shows on the bottom I'm just going to paint that with the steel so it all looks cohesive. I'm going to take some wired jute cord from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut two pieces that will be the handles and then I'm going to cut out of this tin baking pan from the Dollar Tree a couple of pieces that I'm going to wrap around each edge of those handles and then I'm going to paint it all with the steel paint so it looks like it is metal that is welded on there and the rope will actually look like a handle. And now I'm going to take my little tin pieces, wrap them around the edge of each side of that painted jute. And then once I'm done doing that and assembling them, I will hot glue them to each side of my tray. And I just use a little hot glue as I wrap it around the jute and I attach it two times to make sure when I first start and at the end, that way it's on there good and it's not going to go anywhere. Next, 
I'm going to take these two little pop-up dots from the Dollar Tree stickers. I'm going to paint two of them steel and then cover the holes that were there on the tracks. And it's going to end up looking like, you know, a rivet or a bolt that's there. And it just looks like it's supposed to be there. And now I'm going to attach those little handles. Now they're not really functional, although you could pick it up because this is very light. But this is more of a decor piece than a functional piece. This is going to be just fine with hot glue. Of course, you could use E6000 if you really felt better about it. And after the handles attached, this is complete. This was really fun to make, and I think it came out actually pretty cool. And I love that I used the Hot Wheel tracks. As I mentioned earlier, today's video is the leases of YouTube bringing you high-end dupes. We each selected a different store to pick our dupes from. Each one of these ladies is incredibly talented and I really recommend you would visit their channels and watch their videos. We have assembled a playlist that will be down in my description box so you can watch all of the videos. Please tell them that Lisa Marie sent you and if you've come over from one of the other Lisa's channels, welcome. I'm so happy to meet you and thank you so much for watching watching my video. The next item that I'm going to dupe are these wood roof metal Christmas cottages and there's a set of two. Theirs were $248 and I think they're a lot bigger than mine are so that's probably why. But even so, that's a lot of money. Now I found these little houses at Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off, so I bought a couple of them. And then I've got these extra popsicle sticks that I've had for a long time from the Dollar Tree. And I have some burnt umber apple barrel paint and some steel Waverly chalk paint. I'm gonna mix them together and add a little teeny bit of water as well, stir it up. And then I'm going to paint all of my sticks after I assemble them on the roof. The only thing I really needed to do to these houses is just create the wood roof. So I measured them. I used my miter shears from Amazon to cut these little popsicle sticks, which is super easy with them. And then I literally will hot glue them right to the roof. Now the first one is super easy because there is no chimney. On the second one, I am going to have to cut a couple of little pieces to size around the chimney, but it's really not a big deal. And then at the end, I might have a little hangover and I'll use some snips to go ahead and just cut those off. But literally this is a super, super easy dupe in DIY. And now I'm going to take my stain that I created, I'm going to put that all over the roof. And here I'm showing you how I'm going to do the pieces that have to be cut separately on the side with the chimney. Like I said, not complicated, just have to cut down the little popsicle sticks to fit. And here I am snipping off the ends just to make sure that they're more even. And I'm going to sand off the edges and make sure I get everything stained. And then the one other thing that's different is that there is like a piece of metal across the very peak of the roof on both of them. So I'm going to take out my little tin baking pan from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut a couple pieces. I'm going to measure them against the roof line. And then I'm literally going to fold them in half and hot glue them right to the top. And then I'm going to take my steel Waverly chalk paint. And I'm going to dab over that shiny metal because I don't want it to be super shiny. And literally that's it. This one will be done super easy and so, so cute. I love these little houses. They have so much more character now than they did before. You have to tell me what you think. And would you consider doing something like this if you had a little metal house like this at home? Just for fun, let me know in the comments.
I hope my channel is a fun place where you can come and be inspired to create something. I do all different decor styles. There's something here for everyone. If you like what you see, be sure to hit the like button. That really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it. I love this little book stack that says Faith, Hope, Love. And you know, for $24, I could make this for almost nothing. I'm going to use my Kills White Primer Paint and I'm going to use some nautical, actually I think it's just the Bigger Jute from Walmart. And then I've got three books that were already used and so I'm just taking off the covers and the back covers and leaving the rest of the book. And then what I'm going to do is take the white primer paint and then very lightly paint over the tops of each of the books and the bottom of the bottom, well excuse me, the top of the top book, the bottom of the bottom one and all the way around the sides of all of them. Because the book in the middle you're only going to see the edges, you're not going to see the top and bottom. So that's what I'm going to do, go ahead and cover those with the paint. But I I want you to see the writing coming through just a little bit so I'm not like doing a heavy coat at all just a very light single coat then I'm going to use my premium decoupage and I'm going to do all the spines and then I'm going to do the top of the top book and the bottom of the bottom book because I, just in case it were to get wet or something you know it's paper so I want to make sure that it's protected Next, I'm going to use a piece of tape to get a straight line and with one of my markers, I'm going to write the words and I'm going to make them look a little bit like newspaper type font. I was going to use stamps, but my stamps are too little and it's hardly noticeable. So I'm just going to go ahead and freehand it and you know, I'm not a calligrapher, but I'll do the best I can. And then there's a little heart on the one that says love. Now in the original, they're not this dark, so I'm trying to dab at them a little bit. Then I'm going to take the rope and I'm going to wrap it around three times each direction and then hot glue it to the bottom. And then the last thing I'm going to do just to make sure that the letters aren't too dark is I'm going to get a little bit of the white paint on my fingers and I'm just going to kind of smudge it over the letters. You know, just a little bit just to lighten it up and make it look a little bit older and kind of more used. That's it you guys. This was super easy and I love it. Hey, are you on social media? Come follow me. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I post all kinds of stuff on there behind the scenes and just what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. Hope to see you there. Do you love mega videos? Check out the link in my description box for a playlist of just that. This farmer's market wood platform set, there were two here for 148. I decided to make one and I made it square instead of rectangle. Now this I'm just using paint sticks and some paint so it's really not going to cost very much. The paint sticks are the ones I got from Amazon and that's apple barrel burnt umber paint with some water mixed in to create a stain and I'm going to stain every single piece of the wood, all sides, edges, top, bottom. Once that's done, I just looked at the picture and figured out how many I might need for the top. I think I did 12 and then I had for each of the four sides. And then I also decided that in order to do this, I was gonna have to use some of my tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use my square so I can get a good right angle and I'm gonna use a combination of hot glue and liquid adhesive from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to attach all my pieces. Now I'm gonna use this only for lightweight things so I wasn't too worried about the weight of it. If I needed this to hold something heavy, I would have absolutely used wood glue and probably E6000 together. And now I'm just assembling it and I'm taking the cross slats over the top and I'm gonna attach each one. And I'm gonna complete that top. Then I'm gonna assemble the sides and the legs. And the legs are what I'm gonna use the tumbling tower blocks for. I'm gonna stain those as well with the mix that I had made.
And then I'm gonna take two of the tumbling tower blocks and use a combination of the liquid adhesive and the hot glue together. And then I'm gonna stack that too high. So it's gonna be four tumbling tower blocks for each leg. And then I will attach the side slats that go down a little bit lower. So there's the ones that are up close to the top and then the one I'm putting right now on the side. And of course there's four of those as well. Now this was pretty easy to assemble once I figured out kind of the pattern of it. I think it's really cute, but I did want it to be a little more stable. So I don't know if the other one had this, but I added pieces underneath like crossbars just to make sure that this could hold anything at all, even just little decor pieces. I decided to add one more coat of stain and then I took it outside and did a clear coat over the entire thing. And I love it. What do you guys think? And now for one last look at all four of my antique farmhouse dupes. I'm really happy with how they turned out and I did take them outside and I sprayed them all with a clear coat of protective seal so that they would do well, you know, in case somehow they got wet or anything like that. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I really love them and don't forget to go to the playlist down in my description box and watch all the other Lisa's videos. You're going to love them. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you were here and I can't wait to see you in my next video. I appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos. It means so much. And remember, you are a blessing to me.